Hello everybody, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this February 10th, 2024. It's being brought to you by WSR Insurance Services Incorporated, also being brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors. Well, last week we talked about El Nino coming back full strength, and boy did it ever, bringing very heavy rains and snows to California, the desert southwest, in many areas of the interior west. But over the next week, we're gonna have a bit of a break in the stormy weather pattern, but it will be trending cooler. But we're gonna see that California storm train take a little bit of a break. It's likely gonna come back though by next weekend and beyond as we look to the end of February and in early March. Expect that storm track to start to come off the Pacific and across California and the Southwest United States again. Also, we've got an El Nino update and we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Here we can see over the last seven days, all the rain and snow that's fallen across the central and western United States, especially California, but also look at Arizona, parts of Nevada, Utah, Colorado, back into the interior rest. This has been a boon for the snowpack. And you can see that the desert southwest, look at Arizona there, two to three inches of precipitation, especially in the rim country, bringing heavy snow to Arizona's mountains. And this has really helped the snowpack in the west, as you can see here over the last two weeks. Snowpack conditions have really improved. Just a snapshot there of southwestern areas of the United States. Arizona snowpack over 130% of average in many areas and a big improvement in Colorado, Utah, Nevada, New Mexico snowpack, the snowpack in southern Wyoming and across portions of eastern Oregon and southern Idaho. So good news there. Bad news though for those northern snowpack areas of Montana, Washington State and northern Wyoming. Snow deficits there continue but we're seeing increasing snowpack across the central, the south, and the west. The warmer temperatures, close to the 30-year averages in the far west and southwest, warmest across the northern plains, and this is where we are with the year-to-date temperature pattern. You can see that still, we're feeling the effects of those January freezing temperatures that we had. So the year-to-date temperatures close to average for a lot of the west. Now this is where we're gonna be. For this upcoming weekend, snow will be found in portions of the Rockies and the central and western high plains, while California and the Pacific Northwest gets a break. We'll see rain and thunderstorm activity break out across the southern Gulf states and then into the northern Great Lakes as well. By next weekend, with high pressure building in Canada, we'll start to see some colder air come south into the Intermountain West and the Western High Plains. And over the next seven days, you can see not nearly as wet in California, but the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rockies and the South will still be wet. Snow looks to be a good bet further east, but especially look at the Northern Rockies. Look at Idaho, parts of Montana, Wyoming, into Western South Dakota, and more snow into the Colorado Rockies. Again, that's gonna be helping out the snowpack. A quick El Nino update, notice the sea surface temperature anomalies beginning here in February showed the El Nino fading to a La Nina. And we can see this on the official forecast. El Nino is going to be gone most likely by April and May in a neutral status, maybe a La Nina by mid to late summer, something we'll keep an eye on. Our next update will be the 17th. Have a great week ahead.